All right, you know it, you love it. That's the closing bell on Wall Street, ladies and gentlemen. I think it was. And uh, joining us now is Rob Williams, Newsmax Deputy Financial Editor uh, with the Daily Closing Bell Report. And uh, hey, another crazy day. Not, not, nothing to arouse the passions that much. You had the S&P with its 42nd record high, uh, and it closed up one point to, get, one to, point. to gain that high. <laughs> the Dow up 13, closing at 17,648. I'm not sure what we have on the screen right now. And the Nasdaq uh, fell 18 points. So, right. uh, so what, what's what's going on? Well, we uh, we opened uh, pretty weak because Japan slid back into recession, which nobody saw coming. Um, they thought that because of all the stimulus they've been putting into their economy, they would actually grow. Uh, Gee, wait a minute! Are you are you telling me that stimulus doesn't work? Infrastructure, <laughs> roads, bridges, all that stuff. Didn't we go through a stimulus uh, early on as well in the first Obama administration? Well, I think it does cast a lot of doubt as to what Japan is doing. The thing yeah. that Japan did wrong, though, is that it ra it raised sales taxes. So on, on one hand, they're pumping money in, yeah. and then they're trying to take money back right. because their uh, national debt is out of control. I think it's three times what they, GDP I mean, they, is. They came right? out of a recession, uh, or they were trying to come out of a recession now for, for years. I mean, maybe, I don't yeah. know if I missed the... The, uh, we're out of the recession portion or not because I don't follow it that closely. But now to hear that they're back in, I remember the scrutiny of mm -hmm. their policies many, many years ago that they were going about it the wrong way in the first place. And that we shouldn't make the same mistakes is what a lot of people were saying on the economic side. Right. Well, they did, uh, they did start QE, which is something we did. Uh, but but uh, we didn't do something as drastic as raising taxes uh, the way that they did. Right. So, now there's talk that they'll probably push back the next tax hike that they wanted to do. And so... Um, push it back, postpone it for a while. Yeah, postpone yeah. it. Yeah. Um, it was supposed to take effect in April, but now it's probably off the table for a while. So how? So this uh, caught, caught the markets completely by surprise. If, if that were the case, mm -hmm. you might have expected a, a much bigger uh, decline than we got today, no? Or Well, uh, it did... Uh, you, let's see. Well, Asia was really off. Europe started slow and then rose and so did the United States uh, because uh, with Mario Draghi that's the head of the European Central Bank he he was also talking a lot about stimulus today I and thought so he was the second baseman for the uh, St. Louis Cardinal <laughs> my, my mistake yeah well he's their version of Janet Yellen oh okay so. gotcha 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 <laughs> and so he talked about uh, the, the stimulus that they want to embark on and that lifted Europe and so uh, in the United States, we got a lot of merger. Right, I was going to say a lot of mergers today. and uh, uh, acquisitions. Uh, before we get to that, if we have time, uh, the Federal Reserve notes from the October meeting are coming out this Wednesday, right? That's so right. That's, I know. So what's the significance of that? What, what, what's it going to tell us that we don't already know, supposedly? Well, at the last meeting was when they ended the right. QE that stimulus. Right, that was a big, we were all waiting for that. Yeah, yeah, so it'll be interesting to get some insight as to what they're thinking about the state of the U.S. economy, that the global economy. Uh, what, uh, yeah. Not to interrupt, but I heard a report today that because a, a lot of people are quitting their jobs, mm -hmm. uh, more and more, I should say, right. that, that, and that that's an indicator that Janet Yellen has always mm -hmm. been looking for to see how the economy is growing, that if people could quit their jobs and then right. presumably look for new ones and get new ones, then that's encouraging to her. If that's the case, what could that mean? Well, that yeah, that, that indicator, the quit rate, uh, that's been one that got, uh, going back to Alan Greenspan that used they to They even got a name for it, the quit rate. <laughs> I thought I had a good point and it's the quit rate. Yeah, well, ahead. yeah, it's a side of uh, worker confidence yeah, that, yeah. you know, if I can, uh, I can look elsewhere and get better raise, better job, etc. And so if that that's rising, people are leaving and moving around, it is a sign yeah. that people are feeling more confident. All right. Well, we shall see what we shall see. Uh, to see if uh, tomorrow we have a 43rd record high on the s &P. Maybe it'll go up a quarter of a point. point. You never know. All right. Well, Rob Williams, ladies and gentlemen, Thanks. thank you very much. And of course, uh, if you want to take control of your financial future, you know how to do it. You could do so by checking out moneynews.com 24-7. We are live with that 24-7, moneynews.com. Up next, Gimme 5 right here on Newsmax Television.